Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne, happy Saturday. Today, I'm going to be doing stage 9 of the Hashet Partworks release, a build the Mark III Lancaster Bomber. Now today we're going to be working a little bit on the navigation station today. Now there isn't actually much to do, so I thought I'd just take this opportunity at the start here to just show you some of the free gifts we've got and some other items that you can actually get which are going to aid your building of this model. The first free gift I got is this tin plate here, which looks like this. And this one says, after me, the flood, 617 squadron. It looks like this, and if I put this against my head, because obviously I use my head to measure everything, that's how big this is. I haven't actually opened this one yet, but that's one of the first free gifts you get. Now the second free gift you get is a pen, and that comes in this box here, and it looks just like this. It's got a wooden effect on it, and it's also got uh, an inscription saying the Lancaster Bomber Mark III on it, as you can see there. This is a screw top, so you take the top off, and as you can see, that's what that looks like. Pretty cool, huh? Haven't used it yet, as you can see. <laughs> so just put that back on. And as and when I get some more free gifts, I will show you what you do get. And these three gifts come when you subscribe to this build. Now, if you want to subscribe to this build, I have put a link in the video description, and there is also a QR code on the screen, and you can get this directly from Hashit Partworks. Now, while you're building this model, as it grows, it's going to get a little bit hard to start actually positioning things, especially things like the wings and the fuselage, for us to screw things in without damaging everything else. And that's where the firm Partwork Upgrades is coming to help us. You've probably noticed it sitting here. It's actually a stand for this to go on. It's a building stand for when you're actually doing this build. Now this does come in pieces and I did assemble this on my Patreon channel, but it is fully adjustable. So when I loosen the screws here, I can make these go in and out depending on the size I want. And I can do the same with each one of these uh, rests here. Now they've got a nice felt on them so you're not going to scratch your model and you can position this how you want obviously the way i've got it here the front of the aircraft is going to be here the back of the aircraft is going to be here but you'll find once we fitted the wings and the gears are in place you don't really want to put it flat on a work surface you do want to be able to have it lifted so you're not going to affect anything underneath it but this stand is available through part work upgrades again on my head this is how big that's looking pretty cool so check them out if you do want to get yourself one of these uh, I said I don't think we're going to be using it straight away I can see that probably coming in the next 20 stages though that we are going to need to start using that uh, but again that's from part work upgrades but let's do stage nine without further ado let's get cracking So this is stage nine of the Lancaster bomber. As you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. We're going to be work starts on the framework and the area that will be positioned next to the navigator station. And these are all the parts. Going to need to get our glue out, and it is just slotting things. So by the end of it, this is what that station is looking like there. This is the rest of the magazine. So this is what's coming in uh, issue ten. Looks like we've got. Eight parts in that as well. It doesn't look like there's too much to do in the next stage either. This is the box of stuff. And believe me, it doesn't feel like there's anything in the box. As you can see, they're very small, dinky little parts. But they've got no weight to them at all. Now, there's no screws or anything in here. So a lot of this is going to be gluing together. The first thing I need are these two sections here. We have got a little D-shaped hole just at the bottom. I'm going to be putting this into this position here. Now, it is a real tight fit, so I'm not going to glue that section in. Once I've done that, I've got this green piece here to put on the bottom. It's going to be going this way round. Just seeing it has got a D-shaped hole again, so again, you're not going to need to worry about which way around this is going in let me just uh get that pushed in and again that really holds tight not going to need any glue on that bit either okay on this side of that station this is where we're actually going to be putting the base now the base has got little d-shaped lugs on this side here so again i'm going to line them up so they're going in the right way push them in it's very hard to get these in actually 
when I get this, I always do put just a tiniest amount of oil on this. Because the last thing you want to do is break these plastic bits here. Okay, let's have a look at this again. And there we go. That's in just like that. Okay, I just want to have a look at this. I'm guessing I need to line up this side just here. Now they're not asking me to do that. As a matter of fact, they have got a little gap there. So I was going to, I'm tempted to glue that, but I'm not going to glue that yet. I'm going to see what the instructions lead us to do. I could put this to one side. I'm going to be taking the parachute and its holder here. And again, these are a little D-shaped lug, which is going in the middle. And you really don't need to glue these parts in. They are so tight. I'm going to have to really pry that out to get those out. Once I've got this, bring over this base again. And I want it this way round, like that. And this is going to be going onto the four points just in the corner just here. Larger lugs and smaller lugs. So it does dictate which way round this goes in. The smaller lugs should be towards the bottom. That's those ones in. Let's get the top ones in. Perfect. And that's the parachute in place. Now in the instructions, they've got the parachute rounds the other way, but you can't turn this around because of the D-shaped lug in here, and you can't turn the base around because of the size of the holes in the base there. So that's what way around I've got it here. I can't figure out how in the instructions they've got that the other way around. But uh, there you go. I'll have to have, to have a think about that one. <laughs> we've got the fire extinguisher next. That's going to be going right next to this, into these holes here. Again, we've got a large lug and a small lug. Again, I think this might have been a, one of these things that it would have been better to get in before I put that parachute in. But again, I'm not going to need any glue. That's going to hold no problems in there. And the last thing to do is to put this electrical unit, which is going next to the fire extinguisher, into these two points here and here, which I've clipped in, no problems at all. So that's how that's looking. Now this little section here, I don't know if you can see, there's a little sort of break in there. They've left that gap. So I need to see what they're doing with that because uh, I was tempted to glue it. I still don't understand how that parachute can go the other way around, but that's what way around I've got it there. But that is all there is to do in that stage. And there we go, that's it for another week. And I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.